The Max X11 is getting more and more popular as it is much faster than VNC and uses modern display protocol. I recently posted a question that do you use the Max X11? Most of you said yes, but many of them don't even know about it, don't know how to download it and how to use it. So in this video, we'll cover all of this. So first of all, what is Termux X11? In simple words, Termux X11 is an add-on to Termux which uses VLAN display protocol which is a modern replacement of XOG. How to install it? Before going into installation process, keep in mind that Termux X11 is still in development and it is not released for public yet. Now to install it, go to Termux and first make sure that repositories are up to date. Next, we need to install X11 repository, execute following to install it. Now install VLAN. Once it is installed, go to Termux X11 GitHub page and scroll down and click on last successful build. And click on any of this and make sure that the tick is green. Now scroll down and as you can see, I am unable to click on this link. So to download this file, you will need a GitHub account. So click on sign up and create a GitHub account or sign in with an existing one. After signing in, again go to that page and now you will be able to download it. After downloading, again go to Termux and give storage access to it. Now copy the downloaded file. And extract it. Now install extracted dot dev file. Now go to your file manager and extract the downloaded zip file and install .apk file. Open it and allow the permissions. Now again go to Termux and allow external apps. Now how to use it, here I will be running Ubuntu desktop through Termux X11 but if you want to use Termux X11 with Termux desktop you can watch this video. Now first we need to start Termux X11. After you start it, it will automatically open Termux X11 app. So go back to Termux and log into your distro but with dash dash shared dash tmp flag. This will share termux tmp folder with the distro. We need to do this because by default VLAN socket is stored in termux tmp directory. After you logged in, just export the display environment variable and start your desktop environment. If we go back to termux x11 app, you can see it's running. I don't know why but my desktop wallpaper automatically changed to default. Now go to preferences and you can change mouse options here and if you want to remove these extra keys just untick this option and if you want to use keyboard here you can use hacker keyboard and turn on permanent notification option in it. Now, you can easily use keyboard from the notification section. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.